Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created to the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Roach Show. Turn up your yeah. mind. No, I don't take responsibility at all because we were given a, uh, a uh, set of circumstances and we were given rules, regulations, and specifications from a different time. Uh, it wasn't meant for this kind of uh, an event uh, with the kind of numbers that we're talking about. I mean, this is when somebody's the president of the United States, the authority is total. And that's the way it's got to be. Total. The authority is total. It's total. It's total. 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 Now, you would think that a man who said he doesn't take any responsibility and is now saying that he has total responsibility would somehow be called out. And that somewhere along the line, his cabinet members would say, okay, he's insane. And America is literally in danger, and we have to speak up, and we have to say something, and uh, we've got to invoke the 25th Amendment. Uh, But after yesterday, I I mean, one can only hope. This was really, really twisted, okay? Yesterday, he kept on saying for this whole two and a half hours after he played 35 seconds of clips from Fox News and then showed his, uh, you know, robust response, which left out the entire month of February, right? Because February, he was, uh, you know, busy downplaying it. He was busy dismissing it. He was busy traveling to India. And he was very busy golfing. Very busy. So all of a sudden last night, he starts saying, I am the only one who could fix it. It's me alone. I have total power. I am the king. I am very powerful. Uh, The president of the United States has the authority to do anything he wants, which is very powerful. But he claims no responsibility. You know, it's hard to argue with it because it makes no sense. For instance, if a governor issued a state home when you say my authority, the president's authority, not mine, because it's not me. This is when somebody's the president of the United States, the authority is total. And that's the way it's got to be. Total. Your authority is total. It's total. It's total. Your and the governors total. know that. So if a, if a governor, the governors know that. Governor now you have a couple of bands of, of, excuse me, you just, excuse me. You have a couple. Send, oh. Could you rescind that order? You have a couple of bands of, uh, of uh, Democrat governors, but they will agree to it. They will agree to it. But uh, the authority of the president of the United States having to do with the subject we're talking about is total. States that have closed, ordered schools closed. It's been states that have ordered businesses like restaurants. That's because I let that happen. Because I would have preferred that. Oh my I let God. that happen. But if I wanted to, I could have closed it up. But I let that happen. And I like the way they've done it. Compare that to big states and say, I order you to open your schools. I order you to force ahead, kids to be able yeah. to go. Yes, Mr. President. Following up on that, uh, there are two consortiums of states today. California, Oregon, Washington on the West Coast, Northeastern states, totally representing about 100 million people who said they're going to cooperate and decide when to reopen. Well, they can decide, states. but... Does that uh, undermine what you're trying no, to do? No, not at all. L- l- let me just tell you, very simple. I'm going to put it very simply. The President of the United States has the authority to do what the President has the authority to do, which is very powerful. The President of the United States calls the shots. If we weren't here for the states... You would have had a problem in this country like you've never seen before. We were oh here to God. back them up, and we back it. We've more than backed them up. We did a job that nobody ever thought was possible. It's a decision for the president of the United States. Now, with that being said, we're going to work with the states because it's very important. You have local governments; they're pinpointed. It's really you talk about it's a, like a microchip. They're what? pinpointed. We have local government that hopefully will do a good job. And if they don't do a good job, I'd step in so fast. But no, they can't do anything without the approval of the president of the United States. What? Go ahead, please. So if, if some states refuse to reopen and you order them to, the Tenth Amendment of the Constitution says all powers that don't reside in the president or the Congress reside in the states. How do you overcome that? Well, if some states to refuse to open, I would be. I would like to see that person run for election. What is he talking about? 
The Tenth Amendment of the United States gives all of the powers not enumerated in the Constitution to the states, and the states can decide whether or not to open or close schools, how to protect people in in, in the case of a pandemic, uh, to order, uh, you know, the National Guard, uh, whatever. I mean, but he's 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 literally drunk with power now because there is a national emergency now he's declared many national emergencies none of which were national emergencies like the border wall right uh but the president sees an opportunity now to take all the power uh away from the states and keep it for himself and this is why it's time for any decent america especially the gop oh they believe in federalism 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 you know power to the states power to the states uh, uh, to remove him to remove him, that was the scariest freaking press conference I ever saw in my life. And 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 the reporters asked him, you know, where are you getting this information? What are you talking about? You just said, where did you hear that the president can do whatever he wants? You said when someone is president of the United States, their authority is total. That is not true. Who? who okay, you, you know what we're going to do? We're going to write up papers on this. It's not going to be necessary because the governors need us one way or the other because oh ultimately God. it comes with the federal government. That being said, we're getting along very well with the governors and I feel very certain that uh, there won't be a problem. He is literally threatening the governors to withhold uh, test kits. He's threatening the governors to withhold ventilators, masks, all this, all the, all this, um, PPE and all of these test kits that he has commandeered. Remember, this came yesterday. Before yesterday, we had been hearing from uh, Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan. She was the first one out the door to say, they're, they're stealing our stuff. You know, we're putting it there. The, the president told us we were on our own, right? That we were states and we had to fend for ourselves because he was not responsible for a response to a pandemic. And he told the governors, you better get busy, you better get your own stuff. And so we went out there and we started shopping for our own stuff. And she said that she had to call Beijing. She said she had to call all over the place, right? They were calling hair salons for God's, uh, nail salons rather. They were calling, uh, you know, uh, 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 automobile shops because they wear masks. Uh, they were looking everywhere and anywhere. And they would place an order and they would pay for that order after bidding against other states and the federal government, and then all of a sudden, Trump would swoop in and outbid FEMA and outbid the states and outbid every, and take their stuff. And we heard that from several, we heard that from Governor Pritzker in Illinois. We heard that from Gretchen Whitmer in Michigan. We heard it from uh, Governor Cuomo in New York. We heard it from Gavin Newsom. We heard it from a lot of governors that they were forced to buy stuff like they were on eBay in an auction situation and only to be outbid by the federal government who then uh, would either buy the stuff or they would pay for the stuff and the federal government would use their powers to commandeer their stuff. And now we find out, if uh, you read the newspaper, that there is a 20-40-40 split of these items. 20% of the items go to replenish the stockpile that Donald Trump wiped out when he was exporting this stuff to China. It's another thing he was doing during February. He was selling the stockpile to foreign countries. That's what Katie Porter of California was able to find out, that our exports of PPE and other such things, ventilators, were going uh, up exponentially, 1,065% of our stuff was being sold to foreign countries. Now he needs to replenish, so he's taking the orders from the states and he's taking 20% of those goods and putting it in the federal stockpile. 20% or 40% are going to the states that ordered them and 40% is going to private industry so that they can sell it to whoever they want at whatever price after they've driven the price up. It's because Jared Kushner needs a billion dollars. Jared Kushner still needs a billion dollars to get out from under 666 Fifth Avenue. And they are literally doing that. And that is why he's threatening the governors. You better be nice to me. I swear it's Talking Tina. You better be, my name is Talking Tina and you better be nice to me or I'll kill your family. 
That's what that threat was. Those governors need me. They better be nice to me because I can take their stuff. You think the president isn't powerful enough to commandeer their stuff? You watch. I will commandeer their stuff. I will use the Defense Production Act not to force businesses to do anything for the American people that's of value, but to take the stuff the states found and paid for and hold it until they open their businesses, until they do what I tell them to do. I call the shots. And, you know, there's no point in in, in telling Donald Trump he's wrong. The only thing to do is to what the governors are doing. They're literally banding together to form, apparently, a country. That is what's happening. You've got the East Coast governors and the West Coast governors banding together to form nation states. Gavin Newsom's called California a nation state already. Go to randyroads.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.